It's the middle game in 1980's week of the Battle of the Decades. Here's hoping we have just as exciting a game tonight as we have the first two nights. Let's pick it apart on the final wager. Heading into final, we've got Tom in the lead with 6,000, Leslie in second with 3,600, and Richard in third with 2,600. Now, these scores are low mostly because this board was just impossible. There's a second reason, I'll get into that later. So let's look at what each of these players has to do. We'll start with first and second, Tom and Leslie. Leslie doubles up, she's gonna have 7,200. So to cover that, Tom will need to wager 1,201 to win outright. Now if Tom gets it wrong, he's gonna be left with 4,799. Neither of these players has 4,799. Richard doubles up with 5,200. Leslie doubles up, 7,200. They should both just wager everything. Not even think about it. There's no difference between second and third. And by wagering everything, you maximize your chances. And all three players did exactly what they had to do. Now, Tom was able to pull this out in large part because he was very patient. He didn't guess very much, which is something that plagued Richard and Leslie both. Richard started double jeopardy at 5,400, and at one point, he was in the red. That's not a good sign. Jeopardy is about knowing a lot, sure, but it's also about knowing when not to buzz in. If you're only reasonably sure about something, sometimes it's better just to hold off, especially if it's one of the higher value clues when a big swing could make a huge difference. We'll see Tom in the next round, and we'll see you on Thursday on The Final Wager.